Hello and welcome to Flexo.expert Peels. I was thinking about uh, 10 things to avoid in uh, flexography. They are not necessarily in order of importance, but uh, let's have a look. Number one, use uh, unsuitable or non-compatible components like substrates with uh, insufficient surface tension or unsuitable for post printing processes, solvents in the ink that can damage the plates, mechanical components in the press that do not guarantee sufficient precision during printing. Number two, use too much ink. The more ink you use, the worse definition you will get in printed elements, without considering the higher production costs related to consumables and energy for curing or drying. Number three, too deep relief on printing plates. If the non-printing area gets dirty, probably the problem is not in the depth of the plate engraving, but rather in the settings of the components that release ink in the unwanted areas. Number four, use plate mounting tapes with different densities, unless, of course, registration between colors is not among your priorities. Number five, print without control targets. Remember that the quality of your print will never be higher than the quality of your measurements. You can only control what you can measure or you peacefully accept the consequences of printing without control, obviously without expecting uh, to obtain any predictable results. Number six, print with unbalanced inking conditions. The homogeneity of the ink laid down on the wall printing area is a fundamental requirement. Any problem on press that causes differences in homogeneity of uh, inking, such as strikes, bouncing, or irregular ink flows, must be resolved at first. Print with wrong impressions. Wrong compression on the plate uh, against the analog roll or against the substrate will cause ink buildup and slurring of the printing elements, leading to inconsistent print results. And we don't want it. Number eight, print solids with poor ink coverage. Color laid down in solid areas must be even without pinholes or mottled. Without a good lay down in solids, it is not possible to measure the tonal values in the screen area. And therefore, it is impossible to set the compensation curves uh, and control that gain. Number nine, use the printing press as a proofer. Final customers today are asking for predictability of the results in terms of quality, time, and cost. If you agree to tweak or tamper with the press settings in order to run after a desired result, then you must also peacefully accept the unpredictability of the result and the associated costs, including the risk of losing the customer. Number 10, production without a known condition. Tell me how you print and I will tell you if I buy from you. If you are unable to describe the characteristics of your printing process and your printing conditions, then it simply means that you don't know them. It means that you have no control over your print production. Is that all? Well, for sure there must be more. Uh, I'd like to hear uh, your thoughts. Maybe you can write to me, uh, send me an email to uh, info at uh, flexo.expert and uh, uh, we can uh, exchange some ideas about, uh, about this. And uh, at the moment, I say you arrivederci and see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.